Hey, what's going on guys? This is Vital, and today I'm showing you guys how to sync uh, flashing lights to uh, the audio. And this is an After Effects. Uh, I'm using the CS5 model, so if you got anything else, uh, I'm not sure if it'll be exactly, but I'm sure if you play around with it, you can figure it out. Um, so, uh, first off, this should be an effect that is done last. Uh, uh, this should be done after all of your syncing and stuff because it's going to be a lot harder to sync something because the render time is going to be a lot slower, or, or the RAM preview, I mean. And so, yeah, once you've got all of your syncing done and all that, uh, you just go ahead and do this. Um, first off, you need to right-click your audio layer, go to Keyframe Assistant, convert audio to keyframes, and this is going to create a new layer. It's going to be a null object uh, named Audio Amplitude, and it has some sliders with keyframes uh, so we just want to go up here highlight the right channel hit the delete key I like the left channel hit the delete key so we're left with one channel uh, which is both and now we're gonna hit the drop down box on the audio amplitudes go to effects both channels uh, and then on the uh, gameplay or the video clip that you're using you want to go up to effect color correction brightness and contrast and where the stopwatch is on brightness, you want to hold Alt and click that. And then now it should open up uh, some expressions down here in the bottom. And you want to hold the pick whip and drag this up to the slider. And this is going, every keyframe that the audio amplitude created, it's actually going to uh, use that as brightness. Um, so the higher the, the higher level uh, audio, or the music in this case, is the br the brighter the video is going to be, and you can always go back and change each individual keyframe if you want. Uh, so I'm just going to preview uh, what it looks like now, and shouldn't take long to do this. So, um, now I noticed a couple of flashes that uh, actually I don't want in there because they're not very distinctful. So if I were to uh, RAM preview this again and find out where that flash was, I can always pinpoint the uh, actual keyframe and I could highlight, or, uh, highlight, delete it. And then if there were multiple, I could drag and delete all of those keyframes that corresponded to uh, that flash that I didn't want. Uh, so I'm gonna go back and um, say if the music is actually kind of quiet, maybe it's uh, a chill song with uh, from Dubstep or Liquid or some kind of stuff like that. You can always go back down here to the expression and uh, click on the actual expression, and at the end you can add plus or uh, an asterisk uh, to multiply it. And in this case, I'll just put an asterisk to multiply it by two so every keyframe that the audio amplitude curated is going to be doubled so the brightness is going to be twice as much and but I don't want that for this particular clip so I'm just going to take that out and uh, you just click off and uh, yeah and it, it will look ten times better if you put uh, some color correction on top of it um, uh, because it'll actually make the reds and the blues or uh, that's if you're using color curves. It'll make uh, those more distinctful and not just a white overlay look to it. Um, so I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. It was requested from, uh, from Oath Rolex, and I hope this helped him out a lot. Um, but uh, yeah, like always, uh, subscribe for more tutorials and more edits, and peace.